Why don't you mention Sirwin Vega and Parasound? Well, <laughs> the simple answer is there's all kinds of brands I don't mention. But anyway, I'm going to answer this question. It comes from Joaquin in Phoenix, Arizona. Phony Arizona. Hey, Paul, I was just wondering why in your videos you never mention Sirwin Vega or Parasound. I have a pair of SL15s. They have sweet thighs. I think you meant highs. <laughs> the mids are outstanding. The bass is punchy and tight, not sloppy, and the overall soundstage is one of the best that I've ever heard. And then there's those thighs. <laughs> they are priced at $1,000 a pair. Paul, if I was going to put them in a price category, I'd put them with Klipsch La Scala, and they're priced at $9,000 a pair. I'm not saying the Sirwin Vegas are better than the La Scalas, but in the base category, they are overall better. Cool. I, I certainly have nothing against Sirwin Vega. In fact, I'll tell you a little story. Um, and, and I'm now mentioning Sirwin Vega and Parasound. Let's just be clear, okay? So that's why I'm being very specific with this. Years ago, when I first got into hi-fi, and this is one of the things I mentioned in my book, The 99% True. There, in fact, it's one of the first stories I tell about how I got involved in high-end audio. Uh, a friend of ours, one of the sponsors at the radio station that I worked at, Norm Little, owned a company called Ball Waterbed Company. And Norm had the greatest system on the planet at the time. I mean, this was 1973 or four. Norm had a triamped audio research system, and I mean, it was, and a freezer full of hash. So, yeah, those were good things. <laughs> Back then, I'm just saying. But he had serial number one and two Sirwin Vega 18 inch subwoofers. And I had never heard bass like that and, and on the planet. I mean, the, the most bass I ever heard, I think, came from an 8-inch woofer. And all of a sudden, here are these Sirwin Vega 18-inch beasts that Gene Sirwinski, which is the, the, where Sirwin, the Sirwin part of it uh, came from, Gene Sirwinski had hand-built these subwoofers for Norm and man. They were something else. And I have always had a great respect for, for Sirwin Vega it, back for their subwoofers and all that. I've never been a big fan of their, of their, of their speakers. I think they're okay. They're probably extremely high values. I imagine uh, Gene Sirwinski is no longer with us. or I, I don't know. But I don't know that he's involved anymore. And then Parasound. Parasound, my good friend Dick Schramm owns that company. And my good friend John Curl designs for him. Now, John Curl, which is the JC in Mark Levinson products, and he, he does much of the design for Parasound. John Curl is a legend in our industry. I, I love John. He's one of the brightest, best designers uh, ever to grace the halls of high-end audio. I have the ultimate of respect for John Curl. Love the guy. Brilliant, bright, I mean, what a life. He, he's really good, and he does most of Parasound's design. So I, you know, hats off and kudos to Parasound. They do great products. And haven't heard of Sirwin Vega in years, but I'm sure they're just good. I love them thighs. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.